Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Myself Fitness Anand. In this video, we are going to see about the isolators and the types of isolators. So first of all, isolator in the sense, it is a manual operated or a local or remote operated uh, device which is a uh, comprises of your mechanical sets for separation of your uh, life fought from the from the load which means uh, it is particularly like an circuit breaker but the circuit breaker opening and closing uh, contacts and also the arc quenching will be presented but in uh, but in uh, isolators there is no such a kind of contacts uh, which means uh, the visible open and closing can be done without any arc finching so sequence of operation opening and the closing of your isolator comprises of a uh, certain sequences because while opening the isolators before opening uh, the breaker should get opened because uh, of its timing the normally the isolator will fully open one uh, about uh, 12 to uh, 10 to 12 seconds for example i'm saying but the break uh, the circuit breaker breaking which means circuit breaker opening will be happened within a milliseconds so we need to separate the load from the uh, shutdown where we need to take so first we need to open the breaker only then only we need to open the isolators and also for closing during at the time of closing sequence we need to close the isolators first and then only we need to open the breaker sorry close the breaker because it can reduce your huge arcing then the operation of the isolators can be done through a local hand or a, by using a mechanical mechanisms from a remote or a locally also been done so it can be done by a motorized operation or a manual hand operation and also for up to 145 kV, the hand operation can be done. Uh, more than 145 kV, we need to use the motorized operation only. Maximum preferable is your motorized, uh, motorized operation. Uh, the, in that also, we have a emergency. For emergency condition, we will use the hand operation. So, these are all the selection gates. Actually, uh, the voltage level of your uh, system, then... Uh, rated continuous current carrying capacities then selection of short duration current capacity then breaking uh, and closing timings then uh, breaker opening and uh, closing capacities these all need to be seen before uh, selecting your uh, isolator so, then the isolator main parts uh, the main connection terminals will be uh, there then uh, male and female contacts which means you are uh, moving and fixed contacts will be presented then uh, operating mechanism box for a motorized operation then uh, insulators to separate or uh, uh, to hold the uh, isolators then uh, rotary base then uh, your connecting drives are to be used then uh, types of isolators uh, it is uh, separated into three types one is your uh, double brake second one is your single brake and uh, third is your uh, pantograph uh, type of isolators then depending upon the position, the isolator is split into three uh, bus side isolator, line side isolator and a transfer bus side isolator. So normally bus side isolator in the sense, the isolator is connected uh, very near to your main bus. Then line side isolator in the sense, the isolator is situated on your line side which means you are uh, away from the bus where the line is connected. Uh, and uh, that line will goes to your another station then transfer bus side uh, isolator so normally uh, maximum uh, we have a uh, two bus systems uh, with a transfer bus or a single bus with the transfer bus so the transfer bus in the sense in case of any emergency the main bus got uh, failure in that time one uh, bypass isolator will be present in your uh, trans uh, transfer bus side so that uh, by bypass isolator get closed and then uh, your line get healthy so in this case the transfer bus side also we have one isolators then next is your requirement of your isolator so normally for operation which means for a motorized operation we need a ac and dc supply ac supply for your motors uh, dc supply for your control circuits 
it may change according to your uh, preference uh, then uh, it should be satisfy the interlock for closing and opening because uh, uh, for closing uh, it has some interlocks like uh, it should, should get opened before closing and also the breaker should be closed uh, sorry should be opened before closing the isolators so these are all the uh, interlocks then for opening also uh, it has some interlocks like a breaker should first open and then only the isolator will open like this kind of uh, interlocks are there that uh, insular interlocks need to be satisfied as you know this uh, isolators are need to be maintained properly like a uh, yearly shutdown need to be done uh, because uh, the isolator may get damaged because of this uh, external external moisture or uh, due to some of the lightnings or everything uh, because it it uh, most of the isolators in your outside are kept in your open area only so for maintaining we need to take a uh, testing like uh, we need to carry out a testing like crm Uh, contact resistance measurement uh, between your male and female contacts then uh, the shaft uh, which means your uh, rotating shafts are need to be cleaned and uh, oiled properly because uh, the traction or uh, the lubrication uh, reduce uh, may cause some of the damage then uh, tightness of your uh, shafts and uh, male and female contacts which means your connecting portions tightness need to be checked properly these and all the things normally checking in your uh, next is your application it is used in your high voltage devices then isolator in substation normally if any fault occurred in your substation the faulty area need to be isolated even though the breaker opens your circuit uh, but uh, in order to physical verification we are opening the isolators also then also used in your signal isolations also then this is your uh, types of isolators so as i said according to the application and also according to the placed uh, which means where the isolator is placed it is uh, separated into two then this is your uh, example of a double break isolator here as i said two female contacts will be there uh, on your uh, connecting buses then the male contact which moves opens and closes by connecting the those two female contacts so it is supported by a insulators and also the operation is carried out by a shaft movements between them so uh, additionally it has a corona rings this is a small isolator for example i am saying if uh, if you are going with higher level of voltages so additionally we will have a corona rings surrounded by the female contacts in order to reduce the arcing so in here the female contacts we have a corona rings female and male contacts both it is a single type of uh, single break type of uh, isolator so as i said the corona rings are presented in your uh, sides of your isolator so these are all the things normally seen in your isolator next video we will see about the types of isolator hope you have understand i think so have a nice day keep share our knowledge and gain your knowledge and three wanna come